guys, so today I am going to be doing kind of a makeup look slash review first impressions of a product that I just bought the other day. Um, I also noticed that my last handful of videos have been like small size. I don't know what's going on with that. The next few that I'm currently trying to edit and whatever, I'm going to try to make them like regular size. I think it's Windows Movie Maker that is doing that. I don't know, but I think it's really annoying when I watch videos like that, so I'm going to try to fix fix the ones that are coming. Anyway, so today I'm going to be reviewing using this Hard Candy um, 10 eyeshadow palette, 10 pan eyeshadow palette. This is called, or this is in the Top 10 Trendsetters Eyeshadow Collection, and this is called Raining Men. Now I picked this one up because I was walking through the makeup aisles and this looked like holiday, it just, I don't know, screamed festive, holiday-ish to me, so I decided to pick this up. These are, they have other ones, these are $6 and you get 10 eyeshadows. They have like a neutral one, a blue one, a purple one, and then they have this one, which has like fall and winter colors in my opinion you can do like holiday looks with this before today I did not use this I'd only swatched all the colors once but I'm going to swatch the colors right now and then we'll get into me actually using the palette and doing a makeup look with it which is what I'm got on my eyes today and then I will kind of go over my opinions about the shadows. Alright, so I'm just going to go um, right to left here and swatch these colors for you. First one you're not going to be able to see. That one's a little close. Okay, so these are all of the ten colors swatched on my arm. Just by looking at the swatches, the first color you can't even see it so on the swatch so you already know that one's no um some of the other ones do definitely look patchy so in general that can be pretty indicative of the application to the eyes now i did use over half of these shadows in this look today so if you want to see what i did with my eyes then please keep watching so the first thing i'm going to start with is the nyx um eyeshadow base in skin tone. This will help hold the shadows on without really changing what they look like when they go on. And that's what I want to see. I want to see what the color payoff is on the lid. So I'm just going to apply this to the lid and then um, at the lower lash line. So I'm going to take that first color there, it's like the peachy color, it doesn't really look peachy though, it's peachy. And I'm just going to apply this into the crease. Okay, so now I'm just going to blend that out, which really nothing showed up. That is a complete dud, that color. Then I'm going to take that orange. That's orange. It looks yellow, but it's like, okay, that's better. That orange color. This is definitely way more true to color than when I hold it up like this. I'm also going to run this along in the crease. And I'm going to just blend this out as well. I'm going to take that raspberry color right there and I'm going to apply that to the outer third of the eyelid. Then 
I'm gonna go back in with that orange right in the middle. And I'm gonna pat that right on the middle, like the middle third. And then for the um, inner third, I'm using this gold. This is more of a true uh, gold shade. Okay, so I'm taking a pencil brush and I'm going to go into that true gold color and just pull that down into like the inner corner. I'm also going to go back in with this brush, which is the one I used with the raspberry and the orange color and just use that to blend those two on the lid into a more smoother look. Go back in with my pencil brush and take that cranberry, raspberry, whatever, and pull that into the outer corner crease area just a little bit. I'm just going to take this big fluffy brush and take this color here, it's like a champagne, and use that for the highlight at the brow bone. Next I'm going to line my eyes with the, the chocolate brown. There's a lot of fallout, I'm sure you guys can see that. Next I'm using my Model Co Volume Eyes Mascara. And I'm going to apply that to my lashes. And on top of that, I'm going to do Rimmel Scandalize Volume Mascara. I'm going to quickly fill in my eyebrows with the Wet n Wild Color Icon um, Brow Pencil in Dark Brown. Then the uh, Rimmel Matte Perfection Concealer. Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and Creamy Natural. Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Wet n Wild Heather Silk Blush. Doll 10 Highlighter. I will go with my NYX Round Gloss in Chocolate Mousse. Alright, so if we look at my face or my eye area as a whole, I, I took pictures to make sure, but I'm pretty sure you guys can tell. Like, these are not the greatest quality because if you look at my eyes, like, the shadows kind of seem, like, beaded up, like they've creased. 
but they're not really creased. I don't know, they're not like really great quality. So let's move on to this gold. I think this gold is one of my favorite colors out of this palette because when you pat it onto your lid, it looks really nice and just very pigmented and it's like a true gold. I mean, overall, these are like shimmery, glittery shadows. That's the main thing about them. But I would not recommend purchasing one of these palettes. I mean, you know, it's kind of one of those things, too good to be true. S 10 colors for $6. The quality could have been a little bit better. I mean, obviously it could be a lot worse too, but I just would not. I'd rather take that $6 and buy like some Wet n Wild trios with, you know what I'm saying? So I would not recommend buying one of these. I mean, it's a nice idea or whatever, but just, I don't know. Not great quality. I mean, if you already have this, I wouldn't throw it out. I mean, I don't throw my makeup out. Like, I use it. And these shadows seem to be pretty decent as far as, like, you know, putting them, using them for the lid or maybe, like, liner or something like that. So, there. That is my review of this Hard Candy um, Top 10 Trend Setters Eyeshadow Palette. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and... I will see you in the next one. Bye!